Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the landforms in the lower course of the river. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, River Landscapes. Depositional processes in the lower course of the river lead to the formation of levees and floodplains. Periods of prolonged heavy rainfall cause discharge in a river to rise, meaning that the river level will rise above the banks and flood the surrounding land. Over time, repeated annual flooding will lead to alluvium and sediment being deposited. This forms levees and floodplains. So let's firstly think about how levees are formed. Levees are naturally raised riverbanks found at the side of the river channel that is prone to flooding. They are formed after a flood deposit sediment on the floodplain close to the river. As the water is spilling out across the land, its velocity is reduced because of friction. This leads to deposition. The heavier sediment is deposited close to the river channel, with smaller particles deposited further away. And you can see that on the shape of the levees in the diagram on the screen. Each time the river floods, more sediment is added to the river banks, building them up further. These levees should reduce the likelihood of future flood events. However, they don't, because at the same time as the banks being built up by sediment deposits, the riverbed is being raised by a thick layer of sediment, reducing the channel's capacity. So what are levees like? Well, they are significantly higher than the original riverbank, anything between two and eight metres high. They are made of sediment, including gravel, stones and alluvium. Alluvium is extremely fertile, so adds nutrients to the soil by the river, which makes floodplains a really good place to grow crops. The sediment is much coarser, closer to the river channel. This is because the heaviest material is deposited first. They have a distinctive shape. They are much steeper on the side facing the river channel, which you can see on the screen. And the tops of levees are relatively flat and they are usually naturally covered by grass. They are often used as footpaths. Let's finish off the video by thinking about how floodplains form. Floodplains are large areas of flat land either side of the river that are prone to flooding on a regular basis. They are not suitable for building on, although they are often developed on. Floodplains are wide because the valley floor has been eroded outwards by migrating meanders. As they move downstream, they cut a wider and wider valley. Each time the river floods, it covers the land close to it with the deposits of silt and alluvium, which are left behind once the flood recedes. This builds up the floodplain and makes it slightly higher each time it floods. Finally, we need to remember that old meander scars are also filled in with silt and alluvium. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on landforms in the lower course. Thank you for watching.